Hi, I'm Zach Pleasant, Information Services Manager at the Institute of Transportation Engineers. I'm here to show you how to get started in ITE Community. To access the site, type community.ite.org into your browser's URL bar. You can also access the site from the upper right-hand corner of ite.org. Log in to ITE Community with your ITE username and password from the upper right-hand corner of the Community homepage. The first thing you want to do on IT Community is set up your profile by clicking the My Profile tab. On your profile page, you can add a picture, update your contact information, add a bio, specialty areas, as well as your education and job history. If you have a LinkedIn profile, you can easily import the information there, as well as your photo, by using the Update Your Information from LinkedIn feature. After you've set up your profile, you can now control who has access to it by selecting My Privacy Settings under My Profile tab. On this page, you can determine who can contact you and what information from your profile members can see. Next, you want to see what communities you already belong to by selecting Communities. All ITE members have automatically been placed in the All Member Forum. Additionally, you'll see your councils and district. You also have the ability to join member-created communities from the drop-down list. Each community has a home page that you can access by clicking the title of the community. On each community homepage, you'll see tabs that indicate the latest activity, discussions, library, blogs, events, and members associated with the community. All members of each community have the ability to add to these sections by selecting Post or Add. Each community has its own library. As a community member, you can add files to all libraries of communities that you belong to. Only members of each specific community can see these files. Each library has two views, a folder view as well as a list view. From the list view, you can see each file statistics, including the number of times the file has been viewed and the number of times it's been downloaded. Members can also rate each file or add it to their favorites. Clicking on the title will show even more information where you can obtain a permanent link and add comments. Each community also has its own discussion forum, which can be accessed by the discussion tab. As a community member, you can post a message that is delivered to all subscribed members of the community, which is also kept on the site. You can subscribe to receive messages by selecting My Profile, My Subscriptions. You can opt to receive messages via email in real time. Each message as it's posted as a daily digest or no emails. If you prefer to receive messages in a listserv format, which allows you to respond to messages directly via email rather than through the online community, you can also do so by selecting Legacy. Keep in mind, only members of each specific community can see your postings. To add a posting, you simply go to Communities, and post a message. Any attachments to your messages automatically are added to that community's library. All members of each community can also add events from the Events tab.
events have two views, the list view and the calendar view. Setting up your profile, adding resources, posting messages, and adding events will get you started in IT community.